And thank you so much. Over the next few days, millions of Americans are expected to hit the roadways or jump on a plane for Thanksgiving. It truly is planes, trains, and automobiles. <laughs> it almost makes you feel lucky to have no plans or invitations <laughs> outstanding. Uh, listen to this. Experts say this will be the busiest Thanksgiving to travel since 2005. How they know that exactly, I'm not quite sure. Cameron is over at Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport this morning, feeling it out for us and maybe, you know, plotting out some of the great places to enjoy breakfast, lunch, or dinner depending on how long you'll be at the airport. Hey, good morning. So as you can see, we just uh, slipped onto uh, the SkyTrain. We are at the 44th Street Station. And Mike, make sure you brace yourself because this thing's got a little get up when it takes off. Uh, this is an unobvious tip that I was tipped off about of how to get around all of the airport traffic. When everybody comes in, uh, they get dropped off. And with so many people at the airport today, you might want to take some notes on what we're going to tell you here this morning on how to get around. As you know, this is going to be one of the busiest holidays and days to travel across the year period. AAA is predicting that Thanksgiving travel is going to be the busiest since 2005. 48.5 million people are expected to hit the road this year. Most of those people will travel 50 miles or more, but the largest growth in holiday traffic is going to be by air. The TSA is already predicting a record number of travelers, 4.27 million people hitting the skies. And there are some tips that uh, we're going to give you throughout the show today to get you around the airport faster. This tip is the one I'm telling you about now. It's going to ease your travel and it starts the minute you are dropped off at the airport. The Wednesday before Thanksgiving and the Sunday after Thanksgiving are going to be very busy with passenger traffic, but they're also going to be very busy on our roadways. So if you're picking up or dropping off friends or family, we recommend that you use the 44th Street and Washington Phoenix SkyTrain station. You'll avoid terminal curb congestion and roadway traffic, and your party can ride the free Phoenix SkyTrain into the airport terminals in a matter of minutes. And that is exactly where we are headed right now to the 44th Street and Washington Station. You can get dropped off by get dropped off there. You can also get off the light rail there and then hop right on to this sky uh, sky train. We're making a corner here. It's dark and I don't know where we're going. Uh, so you can hop on this train and then it'll take you back to terminals uh, three and four and soon it'll take you down to uh, the rental car lot. So as you can see, this car is empty right now, which means it's an excellent way to cut down on some of those lines and get in and out of the airport faster. A hidden gem uh, for you this morning exclusively to our Good Morning Arizona viewers. <laughs> we'll keep the updates coming for you throughout the morning. Guys, back to you. I can't believe you're all by yourself. I'm Where's shocked. all the passengers? I guess it's a little early, huh? Well, this is my this is my private car. I oh, nice. this out, but, okay. uh, some people actually just got off, and now some people are about to get on because now we've arrived here at the 44th Street Station, and to their surprise, there's a camera crew in Good here. Morning. So uh, this is the best way to get on. Good morning. Welcome to the Good Morning Arizona Sky Train. <laughs> She's so excited She's like, to oh, see that. Holiday travel such a drag. It is. <laughs> Thanks, Cameron. I didn't do my makeup this morning. 